today I am bringing you guys another skincare video. It's been a minute since I've uploaded one. I've uploaded a bunch of different videos on my channel on medical grade skincare and this video is no different. I'm going to be reviewing a medical grade under eye cream. I've reviewed one before, but this is a new one. This is one that is new to me at least. So I'm gonna be reviewing the Lumiere Firm Illuminating and Tightening Eye Cream. I have been using this for a little bit over a month, so I'm gonna be showing you guys my one month results and letting you know if I think it's worth the hefty price tag. It is quite expensive, 108 US dollars, which is very pricey. So before you go and purchase something like that, of course you wanna make sure it works, and that's all I'll be reviewing in this video. And medical grade skincare, it just has a higher price tag because it has a higher concentration of active ingredients and it's a lot different than buying an eye cream from Sephora. Theoretically, these products should be more effective. So if you guys wanna see if this eye cream could solve all of your dreams and grant all of your hopes and wishes, keep watching. Also, how did I not mention the fall vibes are immaculate in this video. I'm going to be wearing this every single video from here on out until Halloween's over. <laughs> I got this sweatshirt from Matt for our anniversary. We got matching ones. We're super into Halloween and to fall. So here we are. I'm going to start this video out by going through the website and seeing what exactly this freaking $108 eye cream promises. How do they justify this price tag? Let's see what the site says. This is an illuminating and tightening eye cream. It says it targets the delicate eye area with the advanced anti-aging formulation. Human growth factors and proprietary peptides reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, crow's feet, puffiness, and under eye darkness in as soon as 14 days. That's a big claim. And then it says it's non-comedogenic, dermatologist tested paraben dye and fragrance free and not tested on animales. So key benefits, it preserves. So it reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles with growth factors. And then it revitalizes. It supports collagen and elastin production with proprietary peptides and improves firmness, elasticity, tone, and texture. It hydrates. So it moisturizes under eye skin with sodium hyaluronate. It brightens. Let's try to read this. Glycoretinic. Glycoretinic acid helps lighten the appearance of under eye darkness. It dissipates, helps minimize the look of skin puffiness with caffeine, love me some caffeine, and it soothes, refreshes the delicate eye area to help alleviate the signs of fatigue with bisabolol, a skin conditioning agent found in chamomile extract. And then application, you're just supposed to apply it in the morning and the evening to the skin around the eye or as directed by my skincare professional, which is my sister. So I put it on morning and night around my eyeball area. That's where we're gonna be going over today. Just keep watching to see if the under eye cream worked. Did we achieve those two week claims? Cause you know, that's, that's a big statement. Let's find out. Hello, so it's currently July 23rd and I have not used any under eye moisturizer for like the last month or two because I ran out and then my lazy ass didn't buy more. So I'm kind of at a new starting point here with my under eyes, just like what they look like naturally. And I've noticed that some of my like eczema or red bumps are returning and I got a new under eye cream and I'm gonna see what it does if it makes a noticeable difference. So here is my starting point on July 23rd. I have some redness in the corners once again. And then I also have some bumps over here. So I got a new under eye cream and we're gonna see what kind of magic it, what kind of magic it does. <laughs> So here's how I use the product, both morning and night. You just need the teeniest bit and this will cover both of your eyes. So as you can see, I just put it around my entire eye area and then just rub that in without yanking. But this is what I do morning and night. So here's what they look like right after application. I'm just gonna do this twice a day and for the indefinite future and keep you guys updated. <laughs> Hello, so it's the morning of August 10th and it's been a little bit over two weeks since starting my new under eye cream and I feel like my under eyes are actually looking a little bit better so I'll show you with and without the light. That's Murphy barking in the background. 
But yeah, I mean, obviously I still have discoloration, but I feel like the redness and the eczema forming on the corners of my eyes is going away. There's still a little bit of redness on the corners, but I think it's getting better. So, so far so good. I'll see you guys in like a few weeks or a week. We'll see, but I'm gonna have to compare this directly to the beginning, but just from memory, I feel like my under eyes are looking better. So the before is on the left and the after is on the right. I think really the only difference at this point is my under eyes do look a lot more hydrated. And then when you look at this view here, you can see that the redness on the very corner of my eye is dissipating a little bit. It's currently August 31st, so it's been three weeks, three weeks? <laughs> three weeks since I last checked in and here is what my under eyes are looking like. I'll do it without light or without my uh, bright light first. I think they're looking much, oops, better. The redness around my eyes is basically gone. Like the eczema that was in the corners is basically gone. Obviously I still have discoloration. It's just in my genetics, but I'm curious to see what my under eyes look like now compared to when I first started. This moisturizer, I've been putting it on morning and night. This is without it on in the morning, so I haven't applied it yet. And I feel like it's going, Toby's like having a hairball, sorry. Tubby? I need to compare befores and afters to give you a definite review, but I think they're looking better. Here are the before and afters. The before is on the left and the after on the right. I definitely think that there's less discoloration on the after. There's a lot less redness both under and on top of my eyes. And then also the dryness on the side of my eye is almost completely gone as well as the discoloration there. I think it worked. I still do have some milli on the side, but I don't really know how to get rid of that. I'm going to wrap up the video by going through the website once again. We're going to officially and finally evaluate whether or not the eye cream did what the website claims it's going to do. And just keep in mind, it's only been a little bit over a month, so I'm sure a lot more of these effects would potentially take effect a little bit longer down the road. This is just kind of a first impression after a month of using it. So we're just gonna recap here. Is it worth $108? Does it do what it's supposed to? Reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. I don't think I can definitively say it gets rid of fine lines and wrinkles or helps reduce the appearance of them. I don't have that many to begin with, but it definitely didn't make them worse. So that's good, right? <laughs> it says it's supposed to improve firmness, elasticity, tone, and texture. So this definitely, I can say it did. It definitely improved my texture. I had a lot of eczema around my eyes. If you've watched my channel before, this is something I suffer with when I'm not using a good under eye moisturizer. So maybe not technically eczema, but dryness around my eyes. I had red, and crusty, flaky-ish dry patches around the perimeter of my eyes. And that is almost completely gone, if not completely gone. So it definitely improved the texture of my eyeball area. And it also improved the tone, in my opinion. I had a lot of discoloration around my eyes, namely in the dry patches. There's a lot of redness, and I feel like this really helped alleviate that, get rid of the redness, and just have a more neutral Tone. Check one, it revitalizes. It says hydrates, moisturize under eye skin. Yes, 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 of course it hydrates. Once again, it got rid of the dry patches around my eyes, which is the number one clue that it's definitely hydrating. So I would say it did that. I feel like my under eyes just look all over healthier and more hydrated. So check two, yes, I would say it hydrated. Brightens, so it says it lightens the appearance of under eye darkness. And this is where it gets tricky. I just naturally have dark under eyes. It's just a genetic thing. Been like this my whole life. I don't think I can get rid of genetic dark circles with any serum on the market because it's literally just my DNA. But with that being said, looking at these videos, I do feel like there is a little bit less darkness under my eyes, especially in the perimeter under eye portion of my eyeball. I feel like the darkness is still here in the hollows, but when it gets to the outer portion of my eye, I do feel like the darkness has dissipated a little bit, which may be due to the like the tone improvement with getting rid of the dryness and the redness. It does look like my under eye circles are smaller and they don't go around the whole perimeter of my eye as much as I did in the beginning. I kind of 
agree with this. Brighten, we'll give them a half check. Yes, it brightened my under eyes a little bit, but you need to be realistic. You can't expect to have completely new under eyes and just no discoloration whatsoever. And especially not in a one month time frame, but just in general, don't think that's super realistic. So it says it minimizes the look of skin puffiness. I didn't have much puffiness to begin with, so I can't really speak on that. Sorry, I'm looking at my screen. That's why I'm looking down. Here's what I'm looking at right now. I'm looking at my screen. Honestly, I can't speak to the puffiness. And then it soothes. It refreshes the delicate eye area to help alleviate the signs of fatigue. I don't know. I mean, I can't, I don't know how to speak to that. I would think, yes, it does soothe my under eye area. It's more hydrated. There's less irritation. My under eyes do look a little bit brighter. So I would say that it refreshed the delicate eye area and helped alleviate the sign of fatigue. But it's hard to kind of speak to that point. Also, there's another claim in here that it's supposed to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and puffiness and under eye darkness in 14 days. Did it? I don't know. Editing Sydney, why don't you let us know if you think that it did these results in 14 days? Look at some comparisons, let us know. Yeah, that's gonna be a no from me, dog. I think the only difference here, a little bit over two weeks, is that my under eyes do look more hydrated, but uh, that, that's about it from what I can tell. That is really all there is to touch on for this product. And with all of those being said, going through the recap of the product and my experience, it's hard to say. I do think it's a great product. I'm going to continue using it until this is empty. I would repurchase it if, you know, the effects last through the entire duration of the bottle. Do I think it's worth $108? Honestly, I kind of do because I never had these kind of effects with Sephora grade under eye products. I know there's cheaper alternatives, but what's the point of spending 60 bucks on a Sephora under eye cream that's doing nothing? You might as well splurge a little bit more and get something that will actually work for you. And this is just my personal experience, not a doctor or anything of the sort. So definitely do what you want with this information, but I would recommend it. I'm a huge recommender of medical grade skincare on this channel. I recognize that everyone's in the space or the place to spend $108 on an eye cream. I don't think it's a necessity by any means, but if you've been looking or searching for a product that you feel like will maybe solve some of these concerns that this product does, then I would recommend it if you're in a space where you can pay $108 for an eye cream, because I know that is very pricey. That's the 411. I hope you guys liked this. If there's any other products you want me to review, let me know in the comments below. And I really appreciate you guys watching this. I upload videos every single Wednesday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You guys know where to find me and I will see you next Wednesday. Peace out. Bye. Haters, peace.